Hey, what's up YouTube? California Collectibles here. Check it out. Today was the last day of the Star Wars celebration in Anaheim, 2015. Check it out. We got some four-day passes over here. Um, I didn't pay for these two four-day passes. I got really, really lucky. My friend went to a Toys R Us in the city of Fullerton here in California, and he found out that they were giving away four day passes to the celebration and he let us know on our Facebook group me and my wife saw that post and within like 15 minutes we were there and we were one of the first 50 people to receive these four day passes so I was really happy about that if I didn't get these passes I honestly probably wouldn't have went the prices for individual tickets were like 60 to 70 dollars a day and I didn't know if I had a day off from work so this was perfect. Um, I got these for free and I ended up going three out of the four days. So let me go ahead and show you guys what I got. This is my mini haul. Um, they didn't really have a lot of places giving out freebies that I knew of. But I did uh, see other things that were giving away. And I just couldn't figure out where to find all that other stuff. But let me go ahead and just show you guys what I got. Um, this is at the information booth, Star Wars Celebration, and I'm Convention Center. This is a 2015 Insider's Guide, and it's probably just all the vendors and all the information on kind of like maybe the panels, the shows, the events. So I got that. So they're making an R2-D2 airplane. I saw the uh, large-scale model at the convention. And this is from ANA Japan Airlines. And they're giving out this little plastic portfolio slash folder. So I thought that was cool, so I got that. I won this little button from the San Diego Star Wars Society. And the way you win this is you roll these triangle die dice. You roll these triangle dice, and if you got a four on any of them, if you roll a four on any of them, you win a little button. And they had a whole bunch of different buttons there, maybe like 20 different types, and I won that one. Okay, so the big hit for me was going to the Lego booth, and every day they had something really cool. The first day they had a little mini destroyer. You could um, walk up and you'd build these little... Um, these little models and then whatever you build you get to keep so the second day Friday I went there me and my wife both made X-Wings so I'll show you this it's pretty cool I like it I like this little piece right here let me see if I can focus right there it says Lego Star Wars Anaheim 2015 Star Wars celebration and here is the X-Wing up close Pretty cool. I like this small little piece up here. It's supposed to be like R2-D2. This is probably one of the best ones. We also, well the next day, on Saturday, they had TIE Fighters. I went with my friend, so my friend ended up keeping one. And then I made this one for myself. It's not really too fancy, but it's a TIE Fighter nonetheless. Pretty cool. I like the stand and the display is really cool. And the last day is probably the most popular one. Um, this is the Millennium Falcon. I think this is wrong. So we made three of them. One for me, one for my wife. And I asked the lady, I was like, can I make one for my son? And she said yes, yeah. so I ended up making an extra one. So I think this is the correct one with uh, with this part on the right side. But check it out. It's very plain. But it's very cool. We got the boosters in the back, different colors. Really, really mini set of um, the Millennium Falcon. And once again, that base is so awesome. We got three of those, and that was pretty cool. Another thing that the Lego booth was giving away, um, they were giving out Lego Star Wars movie posters, which are really, really cool. I should have got more. I only got one full set, and then I totally forgot to tell my wife to get a set for herself too, so we could have two sets. 
But I got one full set and then two extras. So let me go ahead and show you from episode one to six. Okay, so check this out. Let's get some detail on this. So this is Star Wars Episode 1, Phantom Menace. Really cool. Okay, move on to the next one. This one is Episode 2, Attack the Clones. Really nice poster. I'll show you guys my favorite one. This is episode three. This one's a really good one. I like the Drews Drews in montage colors and everything. It's a very very close to. Uh, the actual movie poster, which is really cool. Star Wars Episode 4, A New Hope. Episode 5. Let me see what the 6 looks like. Okay, so this one, I think this one is my favorite one. Looks so cool. Has to be my favorite one. And then we have episode six, Return of the Jedi. Pretty cool. So got all those posters, got extras of a couple. I think I got an extra of episode three and four. And then I think I got a couple other things that I picked up. Go ahead and put those posters aside. I went to the Disney XD booth. They were giving us some cool stuff. I got this pin set or this button set for the new Star Wars Rebels cartoon. Cool. And I got two backpacks. Two backpacks are the same, but they're, they have a front side and a back side. And all I had to do was download their app. For this show, Star Wars Rebel. It's a string kind of gym backpack. It's really nice. Feels like it's waterproof. It's a really nice material. And here's the back side. And that's about it. I got this uh, Think Geek lanyard. It has like space and some aircraft on there. But that's it. That's everything that I got. Um, I know they were giving out some pins if you went to certain panels. My son was really fussy that first day on Friday, so we couldn't really go to any panels. We couldn't stand in any lines to take pictures with anything. There's not a lot of things that we could do with him, only because of his temperament. But, um, we did see a lot of cool stuff. We saw, we took a lot of pictures, and I don't know, overall it was, it was fun. I had a good time, but I don't know. I like Star Wars a lot, but maybe if I was like a diehard fan, I would have really loved it. And I don't know, I think the lines and just how packed it was kind of killed it for me. And I went, any store that you wanted to go to, if you wanted to go to the convention store, there was like a two hour line to go in and to check out. If you wanted to go to Funko, there was like a two hour line or more and everything, once you get there, everything sold out because the people that work the convention and the VIP people, the people with VIP passes, they're always going to get there first and get all the exclusives. And if you're lucky, you might get it, but most likely you're going to get there a little late and kind of miss out on all the exclusive items. So I didn't get any... Um, Funkos from the convention. I didn't get any t-shirts or posters or anything um, They did have a cool tattoo area I don't really get to be in a tattoo environment a lot, but seeing them doing live tattoos was pretty cool I like watching epic ink and I saw two of the 
two of the actors or um, tattoo artists that work in that tattoo shop. So that was pretty cool. Um, I didn't see any celebrities, unfortunately. But I think the overall environment of just being in a space where everyone likes this movie and everyone has something in common is pretty cool. And just the lines, um, the lack of exclusives, the lack of things that I could purchase that was available to me. And I don't know, I wanted more, I would have liked more companies to sponsor more um, le legitimate companies sponsoring this event, like, uh, I don't know, Marvel Booth. I don't think there's a Marvel Booth. Um, I don't know if there was a big Disney Booth. Uh, what else? Hasbro was there. Hot Wheels was there. But everything was so small. I think the biggest booth that stood out to me um, that was enjoyable was the Lego Booth, but even that was a, a pretty long line. Um, there was one more thing. I think the way that they arranged the convention just didn't make sense. Um, they would let you in one side of the convention, but they wouldn't let you in on the other side of the convention. And you can't go out certain areas. And it didn't... It wasn't easy for people to go in and out of the convention. And I don't know. It's just a hassle. It's like some things that they just got to think about. Um... If they just fixed those small little things, it would have been such a good convention. Um, it was good, but a lot of the days, me and my wife were just so bored of just walking around. Um, why I brought up having big companies sponsor this this convention, because I felt like I, we were just walking in a swap meet. I felt like I was at Frankenstein's because there was just private vendors selling toys that you could buy in the store for like overpriced, um, that, are, that were overpriced. You know, it's you kind of felt like you're at a swap meet the whole time. That a majority of the convention had people just selling stuff, so I didn't I didn't get that. That didn't make sense to me. But I mean, photo opportunities were cool. You get to um, experience being an being in a X wing. They had that opportunity. You could play the new video game. Um, you could do arts and crafts with with your kids. I don't recommend this convention for pe people with babies or ta or uh, any kids under two because, I don't know, my kid just wasn't having it. He just didn't have the patience to stand in line and do all that stuff. But before I leave, I just wanted to show you guys one more thing. Got this uh, E3PO. It's a really shiny silver um, droid from Hot Topic. So I went to Hot Topic in at the block and they had a whole bunch of these i just bought one so yeah overall my convention experience was okay i got a lot of cool stuff but even that i really expected a lot from the star wars convention i thought it was going to be like raffles and giveaways and a lot of sponsorships and you could meet the artists and they would be up close and personal with you but with uh, um or the actors but the and the directors and producers and meet meet all these cool people and get signatures and that's how D23 was. D23 was an amazing convention, over the top convention. And then you actually knew what panels were doing what and where you could find certain items. It wasn't a cluster like Star Wars was to me, to be honest. So that's how that's how I feel. Um you guys probably feel a little differently. That's okay, but that's how I felt and I'm so glad I didn't, to be honest, I'm so glad I didn't have to pay for this convention. So, that's probably my overall feeling. But it was cool. It was fun. And I guess the best thing out of it, it makes you want to be in the Star Wars universe at this moment. Like, mentally. Like, right now, I just want to watch all the Star Wars episodes and, and um, kind of step my game up as a Star Wars fan. But here's everything. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys like my rant and my my stuff that I got at the convention. I'll talk to you guys later. Uh, stay tuned for some more videos. I got like a Tsum Tsum video. I got a whole bunch of Tsum Tsums. I purchased the Big Hero 6 collection and it's right in here. I still haven't opened it. I have a couple action figures that I want to show you guys that I purchased. And I'm looking around my room. Probably more comic book stuff. So talk to you guys later. 
Uh, thanks for watching. Take care. Peace.